Hi, this is Zach Mir, editor of Spreadbet Magazine, with a look at some bulletin board hero stocks amongst private investors on Friday, August the 1st. I'm starting off with Ariana Resources, where uh, there's been quite a uh, strong push through the 200-day moving average, a trend-changing move here after an extended base level with the former 2013 support uh, around the 0.6 to 0.8 pence level. Uh, the key feature here at the moment is still the 200-day moving average at 0.99 pence and the way that uh, ahead of today's move uh, to the upside we saw a multi-tested uh, extended RSI uptrend line currently running through 45. There was then the rebound off the neutral 50 level ahead of yesterday's push to the upside. The favoured strategy here is to uh, regard any dips towards the 200-day moving average as a buying opportunity with early and end of day close back below it delaying the prospect of a top of June 2013 price channel target as high as 1.8 pence over the next month or so. I think at this stage only really back below the floor of last year's channel or 0.84 pence would finally kill off the buy scenario or the recovery scenario here. Another situation which has been in focus as a possible technical and fundamental winner in the recent past has been Gulf Sands Petroleum and it finally reignited its uh, recovery uh, yesterday with a push back above the 200-day moving average at 50 pence uh, to close just above the 50-day moving average shown here in blue at 54 pence. Uh, the overall pattern here is that we have a rising trend channel in place on the daily chart since February, uh, also a, an uptrend line in the RSI window off which the shares have delivered a double rebound or double bounce uh, so far well, in, in July. And really the message at the moment is that while we uh, hold above the 50-day moving average and the floor of uh, the February price channel, we're looking for a target here as high as 75 pence, uh, possibly as soon as the end of September. Ideally, a decent weekly close today above the 50-day moving average would uh, cement such an idea. Uh, finishing off with uh, uh, another stock which has been uh, bubbling up uh, in the recent past but has reignited its uh, uh, recovery and that comes in the form of GCM resources. Uh, here we have uh, the typical extended RSI support line which is sort of uh, provides positive momentum or provided positive momentum for the shares as they started breaking higher uh, through the 200 day moving average in June. Uh, since the beginning of June we've seen the shares find support uh, well above the 200 day moving average currently at 19 pence with a big plus uh, yesterday on Thursday being the turnaround, the sharp turnaround uh, above former resistance at 29 pence from June. Uh, indeed, the low yesterday was 33 pence. Uh, what we'd like to see now really is a weekly close uh, uh, back above the 10-day moving average of 36 pence, and that should be enough to lead back to a top of April price channel target or imply a top of April uh, price channel target as high as 57 pence over the next one to two months. Uh, we would like to see also the RSI continue to back the shares, uh, preferably holding up above a neutral 50. That's it for me. More updates on spreadbetmagazine.com.